Hi guys, it is Carol from Lily Rose Blue. Hope you are doing well. Pardon my reach there. Today with me I have Amber, Astrid, Arnold, Angel, Adam, and Asa. And we would like to welcome you back to our channel. Thank you for being here today. I am so excited to show you this haul that I found. Uh, yesterday, I just, I had to go run an errand, and so my car went to Stuff Etc., which is a consignment store that you guys have heard me talk about before. And I apologize for my voice. Here it goes. <clears throat> I am still sick with that respiratory crud. Um, anyway, first thing I wanted to show you was this never used before Hallmark Organizer. Favorite finds organizer. First of all, I love, 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 love the cover. And then, really, all it is, is just a, now it's not going to, I see what's going on. Well, oh, well, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. I, I'll deal with that later. It's just a bunch of... Basically, page protectors in a binder, and I could have made something like this myself. But for two dollars and nineteen cents, not with this gorgeous cover and not with all of these pages already included, that would have cost me more money. Well, this is going to take my husband and I together to get this figured out, but. Yeah, I figured this would be a good place to put ephemera, to put, um, particularly I'm interested in images that I fussy cutted and want someplace safe for them to be, but I just, I love this cover. Um, this is the place that I would say one time out of Oh, I usually buy something, something, um, one time out of three. Um, I actually have good luck finding my husband some clothes there, which is awesome. Once in a great while myself, um, sometimes I'll find books that I really appreciate. And then there are times when you hit the mother load. Brand new Hallmark stationery, you guys. Seven boxes. I left two behind that I just didn't really care for the images at all. Um, I'm going to show these to you. Some of these are going to go into the maker's market. Some of these are going to stay with me. So the and and actually some of some of these pages and envelopes I would be happy to share or swap with somebody too. I should I should say that and I should make sure yeah. Okay, so this is the first one. Pink with this gorgeous tulip motif. That's number 1. This is number 2. Um, there's the flower, which is, I guess it's kind of like a lily, eh, maybe. I don't think it is, though, but, um, because it's, no, I don't think it's a lily. Maybe more of a glad. But what you can't see is these lines. First of all, I love grid paper of any kind. And this is a faint purple line. And then you can see, I think, there you go. 
purple envelopes or lavender envelopes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then there's this one. One of my next, well, I don't know if next. I started to work on this, put it aside because I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. But um, uh, there's a little golden book or tell a tale or one of those. Um, sorry. Come on, brain. I'm on too much medication. Um, that are about chipmunks. And the chipmunks that live at my house drive me insane cause all kinds of problems but gosh darn in images and books they are sure darn cute so I like him and then this is a light peach color paper if you can if you can tell um there's oh my gosh there's 32 sheets in each box holy cow no it depends it depends this one has 32 sheets and 16 envelopes. Let's come back and look at this one. And you can tell these have age to them because of the condition of the box. Boxes. Look at all the foxing or discoloration you would see on this. Um, this one says, does it? Here, is this it? Oh, gosh, guys. Yes, 32 and 16. This one is 16 and 16, this tulip one. So, hmm, interesting, I think. I'm going to cough. I'm so sorry. <coughs> Here is a little violet one so cute um again well nope no image 18 and 18 so that's inter isn't it interesting and the original price on this one is 550 whereas the other ones i think have been 475 which also gives you yes also gives you an indication of how old they are right um, so in this must be the quality of the paper or something or the envelope. Again, lavender envelopes. I makes me think of Hazel. Um, yeah. So violets. I just there's something about this one that I just love. So pink envelopes, this cute little motif here. I'm bringing it up so you can see. And this has only 12 sheets. No, I'm sorry. I misread. 32 sheets and 16 envelopes, like many of the rest. I, I don't know. There's something about this one. This one was the first one I saw. And notice this is $5.95 originally. And I went, Oh my goodness, yes, I have to have that. Look at the scalloped edge. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. And pink with a little rose, baby rose motif. And it is, um, it does have some discoloration. This is, oh, 36 sheets and 19 envelopes. So these are just kind of all over the place, aren't they? Um, these two, I think, are my favorite. But I know my audience, and, and I think this is adorable, too. Don't get me wrong. Super adorable. But here's the last one. Isn't she cute? Look at that little girl, little flower girl. Isn't she cute? And I would say this is a white or a cream color paper and then kind of a mauve, mauve or mauve envelope. I guess the same color as her dress here. Oh, and this one actually has a 
date um 1984 look at the box i didn't turn over this box <gasps> this box you guys how cute how cute is that and this says 16 sheets six oh 16 decorated sheets 16 plain sheets and 16 envelopes Oh my gosh. And as gorgeous and special as I think this is, it's probably going to go in the maker's market. I could because I think that somebody else would take more pleasure out of that than than I would. I just don't have even though I have girls and granddaughters. I just that's just not their jam. Oh. I was looking at the back. Look at the chipmunk. Life's happiest times are for sharing friend to friend. I love this. You know what I'm thinking? I think that little golden book is about in my, we'll have to see. If I deconstruct it and make a journal to fit in here in this box. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those are my grand ideas. Whether that happens or not. You know, who knows? Who knows? I'm just going to turn this, these boxes over for your viewing pleasure as I finish my little chat with you. So, um, we've had some conversations on our various YouTube channels about how subscribers drop off. Now, my numbers look correct to me, but here's the thing that I am noticing. And I don't know whether it's a YouTube thing or just a current phenomenon that is happening with my viewers. I can see how many times somebody's watched a video, but my likes are not there. My comments are not there at all. Um, and I know that there are people like Suzanne and Gardens and Sierra, Sarah, Carol, Angela, and others. Um, and I apologize if I'm forgetting somebody. Others um, who routinely comment which makes me worry, wonder what the heck is going on. So I would again, here's my little sales pitch. Not only for me, but for any YouTube channel that you watch, please at least hit like. It makes a huge difference in the algorithms um, for our channels. Now, if you didn't like my video, that's okay. You don't have to push like. But I have a feeling that, I'm not going to say that you, it, it's not the case. I think there are many of us, um, I have just gotten into the habit of clicking like when I first go into a video so that I don't forget to do it. So either people are forgetting or you're or you're not liking the video, which is, I mean, not caring for the content, which is absolutely your prerogative, and I understand, or there is some kind of algorithm issue, which is what I am most suspicious of because of the other shenanigans that have been going on lately. Um, also, comments make a big difference for a channel, so anytime... You, you do comments, that would be wonderful. Again, I try, it is my goal to do a comment for every video that I watch. Um, sometimes I, I'm sure I forget, um, but I'm just saying that's my goal. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys um, as something to watch for. Um yeah, yeah. I am also about 40 subscribers away from 500. Um, I think those 40 might be hard won. 
Uh, and I know that with things with work right now, excuse me, I had to take a drink, um, that my ability to do content is not going to be great. Plus, I'm extremely busy at work and I'm trying to get this journal done for my boss this week. She leaves or her last day is Friday. No pressure. And of course, I haven't felt well. So last night when I should have been working on the journal, I laid on the couch for hours because that was all I could do. Um, and then, you know, it medications do th different things to different people. It, it wasn't pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that, I think that cough is telling me to just be quiet, right? With that, guys, please um, thank you again for watching. Thanks to all of you who hit like, who comment. Thanks to all of my subscribers. If you like the content and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate that. And... Oh, guys, my heart has been so heavy with um, all the devastation from Hurricane Helene and all the stuff that's happening in the Middle East. And I, I don't want to get political or become a Debbie Downer here, but I am mentioning this just, you know, when things happen in any war, in the Ukraine and Russia... All of that, the upcoming elections, all of this stuff is heavy on my heart. Um, so it's even more important now than ever to just keep lifting each other up and being there for each other. And I think we do a fabulous job. My, <clears throat> excuse me, previous video where um, this creator that's, you know, got a lot of subscribers, saw my video with dying paper and reached out to me. Number one, she subscribed and she reached out to me and sent me that packet of love. I mean, that a ton of paper that she had dyed and paper for me to try to recreate what she had done. That is the spirit of junk journalers. That is what we're all about um, so please lift each other up and support each other again by liking, commenting, subscribing to people's channels. Um, Carrie, the paper monkey talks and Carol, the crinkled path in particular, those two ladies talk about this a lot. Um, how happy mail is so uplifting and supportive and it seems to come when you need it the most. Amen to that, too. Um, there are so, so, so many talented people. Um, as I've shared before, I think after years, I'm finally the scrapbooker that I always aspired to be. Um, sadly, I can't show you those because they it's images of people, right? That's what scrapbooking is about. And I don't think my family and friends are, are, you know, really want me to share those with you like that. And by the time you covered people up, then it wouldn't mean much anymore. Right. So, um, but I've got a long, 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 long way to go before I, um, am the caliber of junk journaler that um, would equal my scrapbooking ability. And card making is somewhere in between. Um, but that's what I aspire to, and you guys inspire me all the time. But again, roundabout, please support each other. Life and the world are crazy places right now. Um, 
Gosh, the hurricane just, I mean, it all is so upsetting to me. All of it is so upsetting. I try to compartmentalize because, and I think a lot of us do, because that's how you can go on day to day. But boy, so many, so much is happening um, around the world and in our own country and um, including a lot of hate, which hurts my heart. We should all be in this together. We should all be lifting each other up. And we're not doing a great job of that right now. And here I go getting emotional and political. But um, I think I, I, I won't make any more comments. I think junk journaling is, um, I think this is a safe space and... Um, I won't comment anymore. I just, um, my heart is heavy and I just wanted to remind us all of, uh, to support each other and love up on each other and take care of each other. And with that, um, I thank you so very, very much for watching. Please take care, stay safe. Don't forget to have some fun. Don't forget to take some time for yourself. Send prayers up to, you know, all of the people impacted by what's going on in the world. And um, as always, God bless everyone. Bye-bye.